The following video is part three in the series on the Tewksbury State Hospital. In this video, we visit the unmarked graves of the people who died in the hospital over a hundred years ago. Just like most videos with ghost boxes, the replies are much easier to hear with headphones. But I do have to say, some of these replies are so, so clear you could hear them from across the room. So, with that said, all I can say now is, if you really want to chill, strap yourself down and get ready to hear the answers from the ghosts at the unmarked cemetery of the Tewksbury Insane Asylums Cemetery. Printed area is going by too quick. Pause them and take your time reading. Hello? I'm talking to the people in the cemetery here. Is there anyone here? Is there anyone here that would like to talk? I want you to know that I won't be able to hear what you're saying until after I play back my recording device. It's like an old Victroller or... like a wax tube, an Edison tube. Can you tell me something about your life? Can you tell me why you were brought to the Tewksbury Hospital to begin with? What? Why were you brought to the Tewksbury Hospital to begin with? Do you know? Yes, the hospital. Are there any of you buried here who weren't from the hospital? I see that the graves go so far back into the woods. Are any of the people far, far back in the woods talking right now? I welcome them forward to talk with us. Do any of you know that your spirits or ghosts do you think you're still alive? Are you still alive? Did any of you come to this hospital because did any of you come to this hospital because you were told that you were that you were confused or you had an illness of the mind? Do you believe that you had an illness of the mind? Do you still have an illness of the mind? Why are you still here in the cemetery? Uh, 
are the same people here? Good. I'm glad you're still with me. Now, like before, I want to ask you now that this one might hear you better. How many of you know that you've passed on? Do you know? Do some of you still think that you're alive? Now, I've asked you before, and this one seems to be understanding a little better. I asked you before, if you were sick in your mind, if you had a mind illness, or they said you had a confusion illness, did you retain that illness after you passed away? Or are you clear of mind now? Good. Thank you for answering that. So, why were you put in this hospital? Can you tell me individually why you were put into this hospital? Were you treated well in this hospital? Would you like to tell me about your time in the hospital? I heard someone say I was here in the war. Is that true? Am I correct? Why were you here in the war? Were you injured? Is there anything we should know while we're here? I see that these graves go on for many, many, many yards, perhaps a perhaps many. many yards into the woods back there. How many of you think are buried here? Were any of you murdered? Did somebody say they were murdered when they were near death? Did they practice euthanasia, which is um, helping someone die when they were close to death? So, so when they knew, are you telling me, are you telling me that when they, when they knew someone was going to die, they f speeded their death along? Is this, some, is this something you believed or something you knew? Who's, who's telling me to get out? Who told me to get out? Who said, who said they who said they're gonna attack me if I don't get out? 
Who said, who said that? Who's threatening me? What, what are you, you going to do? What are you going to do to me if I don't get out? You'll do what? You can't, you can't do that. You can't do that because I'm covered with light. And I'm also I'm also protected by the soul. the souls of the good people. Do you co do you protect me? The souls of the good people here. Are you protecting me? Thank you. I, is there anything I can do to help you? I thank you for helping me. Is there anything I can do to help you? What can I do to help you? Do you want me to ask the light to come for you? Well, I hope you liked that video. It was really cool. And when Father Francis came in with the holy water, we did the ceremony. I really hope that we hope to help those people find some kind of rest in the situation. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. Love you guys. If you're not a subscriber yet, you're just a viewer. Thank you for viewing. And please become subscribers. It doesn't take much. Just hit the subscribe button. Um, if you, uh, if you uh, want to see our videos every time they come out, please hit the notification button. Also, um, can't remember. <laughs> um, also, uh, share it with your friends. That's it. Share it with your friends. And make sure that uh, you let everybody know about the channel. It's great to have subscribers and everything. Oh, by the way, the address, the P.O. box is open. The address is down here in the description. So if you have any haunted stuff you want me to look at, put up, go through a ghost box with it, use the divining rods or anything else, I have all kinds of stuff here. You, you know, just send it on in and we'll take a look at it. We'll do whatever you want with it. We'll make, because this channel is all about your stuff and we'll do it all about, you know, all for you, all about your stuff. Um, just send it on in. We're waiting. All right. We're just waiting for you. I can even get my crew on video or something doing it for you. Um, you name it, seance, the ghost box stuff. Um, anyway, let me know. Okay. Bye.